Hello everyone, welcome. My name is Bad Code. Woo! We got another video out for you, but before we do that, I want to thank you all for all the subscriptions. I've got 10 subscribers, and that to me is amazing. Woohoo! It's like, yeah? What the hell? <laughs> thank you much, so much for the support. I am trying to figure out new videos to, pace, to place here. If you do have some ideas, fixes, or anything like that you want me to check out, uh, just leave them down in the comments, and as soon as I can, I will get to them. Okay, so today we're going to do some uh, messing around, creating a garage. We're going to use our QB Core, our QB Garage script, and we are going to place a garage right here. So. Uh, Let's start it. We do have to do two things first. You do have to use your um, your admin console thingy. So we're going to press T for that. Admin. Or wait, before we do this, go to the location you want to have the, um, the search for your um, your garage. Because this, we're going to have to have the location before we go. But, but for us to get the location, we do have to um, get that from your admin box over there. I don't know if anybody has used this. If you haven't, you do have to be an administrator of your server, or else this won't work. Uh, the normal commands: no clip, revive, invisible, god mode. All that is simple, but we are going into the developer options. We're going to hit enter, and we are going to use this one for now. This is where, where the little um, option that, uh, that appears when you're over the garage. So just copy this. Go to your um, VPS server. Uh, as you can see, we are in the QB Core framework directory. From there, resources, QB Core, and search for your QB garage. Not the garage job, the garage. Enter that and open your config file with your favorite editor. I have already opened it, so let's take a look. As you can see, this looks scary. Don't worry, we'll explain everything. The first thing we're going to do is this right here. We're going to copy all of this and we're going to press enter and paste it again. As you can see, we have two motel garages. So we're going to change this to port garage. Not pot garage, Porsche garage. So we're going to change this to. Actually, we're going to have to go back to the game. Uh, let's call it Docks Parking. I can. Docks Parking. And there you go. Um, we want it only for cars. There are various t types. If you want for everything, we can put everything up here. We got all, we got cars, we got uh, airplanes or aircrafts. This is helicopters and planes, boats. You can also create boat ones and rigs. I haven't tried this one, but I'm assuming this one is for big rigs and all that. So after that, we have two vector coordinates. One is four, vector four, and one is three. We did copy the third one but since we did copy paste here we lost that so we're going to go back into our game and we're going to get the vector 3 one which is where we uh, where the menu appears to open up this, this menu so go back to the game if you already have that little admin thing open uh, just click copy vector 3 enter on it there should be information that it did copy the coordinates to the clipboard. Go back to the, your VPS server and paste.
paste it. If you're using the same location I am, the coordinates should be very similar to this. Okay, this is the first part done. Uh, don't forget to place the comma at the end, like it has here. Comma, and we're good. Now we need the vector four. This is where the car is going to appear. So back to your VPS, uh, uh, back to your server. English, please. And for example, some people do not like to put the same location, but for example, instead of being here, maybe a little bit more forward, like around here. When you got to the destination you want, go down to your copy vector four and press enter. There should be a message that says that it's in the clipboard. Go back to your VPS server. And this place where you in your port garage section, just paste it, place the comma at the end and comment the rest. And you should be done. Uh, all other garages are made the same way. You just have to have a different name here. If you use port garage, make sure there are no more port garages. To verify that, just use your control F. And as you can see, there's only one. So for example, if I if you do use the same one, it will it won't work. It'll, it'll just crash and I don't know if it'll crash, but it, it's not good. <laughs> and so we're gonna save this. We're gonna restart this script. I already have it here. If you can't find it, just place garage at the top. Again, it's QB garage garages. Restart it. There should be no errors. Let's go back to the game. And as you can see, there is a new garage thing here. Let's close this. And bam. We, we choose, chose over there, but we appeared here. And we can put it back in. Voila! There you have it. That's how you do it. That's how you add more garages. I do hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, yeah, remember leaving a like. It does help the channel. If you want to be informed of new videos, hit that subscribe button and that notification button. Again, thank you so much for the support. It has been an awesome. I am trying to get more videos out there. Uh, sometimes my time doesn't help a lot, but I am trying. If you have any ideas or comments or even to fix uh, simple crashes or anything like that, put them down in the comments and I will see if I can check it out. Uh, there's also a Discord down below in the, in the, um, in the description. Uh, if you guys want to pop in, say hello. That'll be much obliged. Okay, that is it. Bye bye.